Alrighty, let's jump right into the code. We have our dialog bot folder here, and we're going to be making a new file. First, we'll make the .env, and we will also make our dialog.py. Inside of our env file, we're going to be putting our open, all caps, open AI, API underscore key. And be sure to spell it exactly like this, because our open AI package actually looks for this environment variable, and you will set this to your API key that you get from the website. Now that we have our env file configured, we can set up the dialog.py. All we need to do is import open AI, and actually we're going to, from OpenAI, import to the only thing you need, OpenAI. And at the top, we're going to set up a couple things. We're going to make our client equal to OpenAI. Construct that just like that. And our messages array. The first thing we're going to type into this, it's not going to be empty. We're going to say role system. And then we're going to set the content to what we want our NPC to be. Now, in a game environment, we would absolutely have to change this. So we could call this something more specific. Barkeep dialog completion. And that's what we'll call that. To be more specific and self-document your code. So I'm going to say you are a jolly barkeep in the town of Jarlsberg. And we will say he works at, at the, we'll call it the pig's toe in the town of Jarlsberg. And say he is speaking to a wandering adventurer, which is you. So we'll say while true, uh, in a game scenario, you would pretty much make this loop until the character, until the user is done. Now, we are going to create a free type system to communicate with our bot. Personally, what I would use this for is trying out my dialogue options and getting the bot to respond with the best possible response so that I could copy the bot's responses into my code without having to come up with dialogue for every single character. This just speeds up the process. Remember, we're using AI to improve our coding process and speed up production. So here we're going to say while true and set the user input, of course, to an input. Of what do you want to say? Question mark and then a prompt symbol. You can use whatever prompt symbol you want. Uh, colon, double carrot thing, whatever. Just make sure you know what's going on because that's the most important thing. You're making a tool for yourself. Nobody else is going to use this unless you just feel like sending it to a buddy. So, but uh, user input. So now we're going to say barkeep dialog completion append uh, role user. And this is what the user or you are saying to the bot. And we're going to set the content to user input so that our input will be sent to the open AI. Now we're going to set up our completion variable by saying client chat completions create. And here we're going to set our model to GPT 3.5 turbo. You can use a different one if you're paying for GPT 4, by all means, set your model to that. But I am using 3.5 because that is the lowest cost. And the cost is about to get lower in a week. And say messages equals the barkeep dialog completion. And that is our completion. Now, to keep track of the whole dialogue, we need to append what we get back as the completion. So, role assistant. Now, the difference between role assistant and role system. So, this is the prompt that sets up our bot. Nobody sees this. This is usually, if you've ever used GPT-4, this is what you would prompt your bot when you're setting it up uh, to create an assistant, right? And the role assistant is actually what the bot is saying. So if, if more people would recognize the role assistant than the system, because anyone who's used ChatGPT has seen assistant responses. It's just what ChatGPT says back to you. So you set the role assistant and the content, bear with me here as we type this out, is completion choices. It's not seeming to like it. Yeah, we're going to say messages content it may just be singular message let me copy paste this out of here because 
Visual Studio's being a little weird. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's picking it up now. We got choices, message, content. Okay, this is what we need to use. Let me put that back in here and pass that to the bot. That's why I didn't like it. I didn't surround it in curly braces. Again, I like to leave errors in because nobody's perfect and you should not expect a perfect development scenario in any situation. So now that we've pinned the barkeep dialog, we can print the completion off to the user and repeat. Now, I'm going to add a new line here so that we're not cramming our terminal up and you will see why I did this once we start. Actually gonna make that a double new line because it would make it look even better. But now we should be able to run our AI. We have an invalid syntax here where I did the same thing. I forgot to surround it with curly braces because the reason I'm surrounding this with curly braces is that this is a dictionary uh, key value pairs that we are sending to the API. All right, now this should be able to run. The API client must be set. API key client option must be set either by passing. Okay, so this is because I did not load the environment variables. So we're gonna want to say from .env import load.env and up at the top, we are going to say load.env, load our environment variables and now OpenAI should be able to recognize what's in our env file. Now we get our proper prompt. What do you want to say? You want to say, how do you do, sir? And we get a very barkeepish response. Let me put on my role play voice. Ah, greetings to you, good sir. I'm doing quite well, thank you. How may I assist you on this fine day? A pint of ale, perhaps? Or mayhaps you seek information about our fair town of Jarlsberg? So, of course, we're going to respond with, I've been traveling all day and am in need of room and board. Do you have any rooms available? And we're not going to sit and talk with this thing all day, but I just wanted to demonstrate exactly what this thing can do. And it, like, when I first discovered this, uh, a whole world of possibilities opened up. Like, it's insane what you could do with this. And you see, we get dialogue, actual dialogue that we have with this bot. If this gets you excited, please like the video so that I can know I'm not the only one geeking out about this. This is freaking revolutionary for the gaming business. This is like freaking nuts that we can make this simple tool for fractions of a cent and improve our games with it. Like I, I geek out about this kind of stuff because we could take these dialogue options and of course refine them. These are very raw, but take what he says back in response to our dialogue options and just place that in our game. Like the dialogue, you don't have to write dialogue anymore. This is revolutionary. That is the bot that we can make with OpenAI that creates dialogue for our games. If you found this video to be valuable or just freaking awesome like I do, then be sure to like and subscribe. I'm dropping a video every day this year. So if you want to keep up with that and be sure not to miss anything, turn on the bell notifications. Most of the videos are shorts. I aim for one or two longer videos per week. So just Turn on those bell notifications. We're going to be diving into a lot of AI, a lot of game development, and combining the two, using AI to make games. I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, keep on coding.